In 2014, Elon Musk claimed that AI could pose a greater threat than nuclear weapons. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Such a statement by Elon Musk leads to growing concerns among scientists about the need for AI regulation. But there's an even more unsettling development on the horizon, quantum computers. Experts anticipate these super-powered machines will soon become accessible to everyone. The question that arises is, what happens when AI and quantum computing join forces? It could be a game-changer. It could change the entire landscape of artificial intelligence. There is a competitive race among industry tech leaders to launch the first viable quantum computer a device that promises to be significantly more powerful than current classical computers. A quantum computer is not merely a faster classical computer. It's a different type of machine that takes advantage of the quirky, counterintuitive, and untapped phenomena of quantum mechanics. Now let's imagine its higher dimension. Imagine a computer so powerful it can simulate novel materials to sequester carbon from our atmosphere, a machine that can develop affordable fertilizers that save energy and conserve fossil fuels, or one that can tackle problems so complex that traditional supercomputers struggle under their enormity. That's kind of a crazy sounding idea, but a quantum computer perhaps can harness that by doing some calculations over here and other calculations over there in parallel. Now it's doing, in some sense, twice as many calculations as a classical computer existing in one world would be able to do. Now, this might seem like a fantasy, like a dream from a sci-fi story, but one company has made this vision a reality. This is IBM's quantum-centric supercomputer. This remarkable creation is a striking testament to human ingenuity. It stands ready to revolutionize our comprehension of computing power. This incredible supercomputer doesn't just represent a shift in paradigm. It's a monumental event, a quantum jolt that shakes the industry. That's why there are literally tens of thousands of the world's brightest minds trying to build these machines and understand them. Scientists are anticipating that quantum computer could solve problems that even the most advanced conventional computers can't. No matter how sophisticated, some problems are just beyond them, but it's not the case for a quantum machine. Now, you might be thinking all this sounds fascinating, but isn't it just theory and speculation? Isn't it similar to other futuristic ideas we've heard about? Things that physics might allow but haven't been realized yet? Well, Quite a number of these machines have already been deployed. They're present in research centers, open to the public. Who doesn't know Google's Sycamore? This processor is a step forward in quantum computing, achieving the so-called quantum supremacy. After Google announced its Sycamore processor, scientists in China made another surprising announcement in quantum computing. They've built the world's strongest quantum computer, the Zhuzhang computer. It took less than a second for a task that the fastest classical supercomputer in the world would take nearly five years to solve. The team says the device could be applied to data mining, network analysis, and chemical modeling research. President Xi Jinping has said that research and development in quantum science is an urgent matter of national concern, and the country has invested heavily in this technology, spending billions in recent years. From the outside, quantum computers look like enormous black monoliths, giant metal boxes about 10 feet wide and 12 feet tall. They're powered internally by a fridge, a refrigerator that chills the chips to nearly absolute zero. This is amongst the coldest and most extreme conditions that humans have managed to create. Standing next to one of these machines is truly mesmerizing, and at the heart of this giant box is a tiny chip about the size of your thumbnail. This chip carries all the wonder and magic that makes this machine operate. Artificial intelligence and quantum computers can achieve what we've never seen in history before. AI is already making a place for itself in this quantum-powered future. And what's more, AI can now enhance images without even looking at the original picture. It does this using only the results of brain scans from MRIs. Tristan Harris and Aza Raskin recently brought attention to this. They shared a new video called The AI Dilemma. This is another example of translation. So here, they took human beings, they stuck them into an fMRI machine, and they showed them images. And they taught the AI, I want you to translate from the readings of the fMRI, so how blood is moving around in your brain, to the image. Can we reconstruct the image then? You know, the AI then only looks at the brain, uh, does not get to see the original image, and it's asked to reconstruct what it sees, right? So when you dream, your visual cortex sort of runs in reverse. So this means certainly in the next couple of years, we'll be able to start decoding dreams. The research reveals some concerning data. For instance, half of AI researchers think there's at least a 10% chance that humans could become extinct because we might not be able to control AI. The cause for this concern is the latest data showing that AI's capabilities continue to double every few months. 
What is horrifying is the prediction that by 2045, AI could reach the point of singularity. This means it will match the combined capabilities of all human brains. Could our rapid advancement in quantum computing be contributing to this? Some people are concerned about this possibility. It is the worry that AI will eventually develop human-like consciousness and, like something out of a movie, turn against us. Even Elon Musk has shared some of these concerns. I'm really quite close to, I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows. And the rate of improvement is exponential. There's one key difference between humans and machines, and that difference is consciousness. Since our brain operates like a complex machine, the natural question is, can we build a machine that thinks like a human? And this question becomes especially intriguing when we talk about machines powered by mighty quantum computers. And so the question remains, what will be the outcome when AI and quantum computers join forces? Physicist Michio Kaku has recently shared his perspective on the crossroads of quantum computing and AI, particularly large language models like GPT-4 and Google Bard. Now, these AIs are essentially software programs that pull data from all corners of the internet to generate outputs. They've gotten really good at giving accurate answers to a variety of questions, from diagnosing diseases based on symptoms to passing legal bar exams. The uh, chatbots that are a revolution in software, and then quantum computers, which are a revolution in hardware, when they get together, watch out. So we're talking about an extremely powerful alliance between software and hardware. But Professor Kaku points out a limitation, that these programs struggle to discern what's true or accurate. There's a key worry he raised. It's the risk of AI tools adopting false or inaccurate data into their responses. Since these programs pull information from so many different places, they might accidentally include nonsensical content. And because they can't tell accurate info from incorrect, they might unintentionally spread falsehoods. There is no fact checker for chatbots. Let me repeat that again. Mm. There is no fact checker for chatbots. That is the whole ball of wax. That's the reason why they're so dangerous. Because mm. they can they don't know. These chatbots are machines. They don't know what is correct, what is incorrect. It's all the same to them. Mm. That's the danger. And this leaves us with a challenge. So how can we trust the reliability of the information presented by AI. Here's where quantum computers could be a game changer. As Professor Kaku suggested, quantum computers could make AI more reliable. These devices have the capacity to function as fact checkers. They'll filter through enormous volumes of data, weeding out inaccurate content. By employing quantum computing, we could verify the accuracy of statements and distinguish between partially true, partially false, and perhaps misleading information. This could lead to a more nuanced grasp of the content turned out by large language models. But throwing quantum computing into the fact checking mix raises a vital question. It is about who holds the reins of information and who gets to decide what's real or true. So, we need to set up impartial mechanisms to ensure the integrity of information put forward by AI. In the final segment of this video, we're going to delve into some predictions concerning the future use of quantum computing and artificial intelligence. These predictions might not always be accurate, but they are essential to embody our collective ambitions for the future. First up on our list of predictions, we're talking about NASA's outer space exploration. The forecast is that with quantum computing and powerful artificial intelligence, NASA will discover Earth-like planets with comparable atmospheres and the presence of water. This could spark serious discussions about how to reach such a planet. Machines like the D-Wave quantum system will be crucial in these efforts. This machine will significantly improve the accuracy of space exploration. So, with the progression of quantum computing, there's a strong chance that NASA could eventually find a way to reach it, or perhaps discover another, even more Earth-like planet closer to us. Next up on the future predictions is that scientists believe that the business of quantum computing will become increasingly important. Quantum computers are tough to handle, leading many companies to choose cloud-based quantum computing for specialized tasks. This development opens up plenty of business opportunities. Take IBM as an example. They offer a service called Cheesekit Runtime, which allows users to build and quickly run powerful algorithms. The final and most significant prediction is that we stand on the verge of a technological and societal revolution. We're fast approaching the day when the machines we create will outperform us in every way, not just in calculations or searches, but in every aspect of intelligence. It's projected that within 15 years, such machines will surpass human capabilities in all areas. So what does such a future hold for us? And how will these tech advancements redefine our place in the world? In this era of rapid technological evolution, only one thing is certain that our journey is just beginning.